So we are going to be configuring IAM rules today to allow multi-account switching in your AWS organization. To do this, we want to have multiple accounts, one at the master level and then several sub-accounts. Here I have an example AWS environment with that exact configuration. Let me show you. Here you can see that I do have a master account. It's the one here with the star that I'm currently logged into. And then I also have these several sub-accounts, which are my different development environments. I have my prod, dev, and QA instances. What I would like to do in the use case here is I want to sign in and have my users sign into this master account, and then from there use role switching to access the sub-accounts. So I am going to continue forward here. We are going to want to set up the QA environment here. So I'm going to sign out of my master account, and then I'm gonna proceed into the QA to set those IAM rules. Here, you can see that I am signed into the Pinkawa QA dev environment here. So this is where I might be doing some quality assurance. I'm going to continue to the IAM section. Here, we're going to go to roles because how we're going to do the switching is based on IAM roles. And then we're going to create a role. Here, we're going to select another AWS account, being that we want the master account, a separate account from this current one, to have access into this account. Here, you're going to need to supply the account number that is coming inbound. So here I have the master account, and then I'll supply. Okay, after the master account is supplied and you hit next, we're going to set the permissions and attach that to this role. For me, my use case is that I want my administrators to have administrator access into each of these sub-environments. You may have different use cases, and you can get as granular with the policies and permissions as you like. For the purposes of this demonstration, like I mentioned, we're going to go ahead and configure administrator access and hit next. Here it is always an AWS recommendation to put tags for your own organization's sake. This is mostly organizing things if you want to have dashboards or run queries. For this testing purpose I am going to hit just next and bypass this. Here is where you want to configure your role name. Now I use this as a easy shortcut to know where you're destined to in that role switching process. For instance my typical configuration here would be master in for the master account is coming inbound inbound to my qa sub account and then admin for the level of permission that is getting assumed when you're doing this role switching i'm also going to add a description here it could be anything you like here this is purely for your own organization's sake you don't need to add anything in the description field if you don't want to i'm going to hit create role and complete this process here you can see that the QA role that I just created is now listed under the roles in IAM. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it to view the details. Here you can see we do have the ARN number, so you might need this referenced in different policies if you do choose to get a little more granular. You can also see our description, and then also a link here at the bottom, which is a very handy tool for the people that you are supplying this role to. I'm going to head and copy this over to another screen. I recommend that you do so as well because it is a handy little shortcut when we go to test this in a moment. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and test this from our master account. We want to impersonate a different role in the QA account. So we're gonna sign out and proceed into that IAM account from the master. Here I am signing into my account alias. This could be a, just an account ID. This is my master account that I'm signing into and I am signing in using an IAM user. We are now at the main sign-in page for our IAM user in the master account. At this time, if you do have that hyperlink handy, you can go ahead and put that into your URL bar and it will automatically set up a role switching configuration for you. I'll also show you how to do this manually if you forgot to copy that over. So if you do have that link handy, we're gonna go ahead and create a new tab and then paste that in. Just as a quick overview, you could see in the URL itself that the master QA admin is listed under the role name in the URL, as well as the account number of our QA account. You'll see where this gets input in just a moment. And this is the pre-configured hyperlink that is provided when you create the role that automatically sets up and really does a, a nice ease of use for your administrators in this instance. You don't need to manually type in or remember the account number or the role precisely. So you can actually just go ahead, pick a color that you like, and then hit switch role. At this time, you can now see that we have a different color here at the top bar. That's to signify that we have assumed a role, a different IAM role, up for our master account in a different account. 
So we see the one that we created along with the account number of the current account that we're working in. You can see that we are continued to be logged in as Dave.Pinkala from my master account. The nice part here is it also shows you what you're currently active as. So we have assumed the role of master QA admin and a totally fully separate account. And this is due to that trust that we configured with that role. You can also see here that the role history is displayed. So you have a little shortcut here as long as you don't clear your browser cache to switch back from the master inbound here without needing to click on that hyperlink or manually input that data. Once you've finished all of your configurations here in your QA account, you're now free to go back. You can go ahead and click this back to dave.pinkala. This will have the ID or the name for whatever your primary master account is, but this will take you back to your root account. As you can see, we have now left the QA account and we're back at our Pinkawa master. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this helps you organize your AWS services.